Hey, this is Joe from Home Studio Corner. I've got another listening exercise for you. I'm going to hit play, and you're going to hear this chorus, the first few bars of it. Then I'm going to hit play again, and you're going to hear the chorus, and something will be different. I want to know if you can pick out the difference, okay? If you're brave, leave a comment with your guess, and then I'll let you know in just a second what that is. So I'm going to play through it twice. I'm going to play through it the first time, and then you're going to hear something different in the second one. See if you can pick out what that is. All right, here we go. Okay, do you have any guesses? It's pretty subtle, uh, but if you want to try again, rewind and listen a couple of times and then leave your guess. Otherwise, I'm about to give you the answer now. I'll give you a hint. This guy. This is one of my favorite studio upgrades, and as you can see here, it's only $17. Now, this is the gray one. I actually love the black one even more. This is a shaker, in case you didn't know. It makes this sound. And I actually like the black one for studio work better because it's quieter. It's kind of muffled, I guess, on the inside. My black one broke in my recent move, and I had little bits of shaker innards inside my moving box, and I haven't replaced it yet. Um, but this, if I had to buy it again, I'd buy this one. This one works well. You just have to get farther away from the mic and uh, turn it down because it's very loud. But I love to use shakers in my productions. They can do amazing things. It's such a simple tool. For me, it's right up there with like cymbal swells as far as the quality uh, of what it can do to a production. So in case you didn't hear it, here is here are the drums for that song. And the shaker comes in. It's right here. Whoop. The shaker's right here. It comes in right at the downbeat of the chorus. I have, there have been songs where going from, let, let's say it's a song that goes from verse one right into verse two, and the only thing that's different is a shaker comes in going, and it adds this amazing amount of lift to the song. Uh, I have found shakers and also tambourines, but specifically there's something about the soft looseness of a shaker that's really compelling. Now you can get egg shakers. My mom gave me this egg shaker when I was like a junior in high school. Um, and it's a lot more percussive and it's very precise. I don't use that one as much because I'm not as good at it, but this one's loose. So I can kind of just loosely hold it like this and just go. And I don't have to be amazing at staying on the beat, but it can add so much, especially when you pair it with an existing rhythmic element like a hi-hat track. It just becomes an extension of that, and it can add this very cool lift to your studio. So if you do not have one of these, I've got a link in the description to get one. This is the one I would get if I was you. It's a little bit softer, sounds amazing. Um, but get yourself a shaker of some sort in your studio and even get a few other percussion. Like go ahead and grab a few of these other ones as well. Um, you'd be surprised how much of an impact they can make in your productions. If you're not using percussion now, I encourage you to do so. And yes, there are shaker loops and I understand that they're out there and you can match them to your tempo and all of that. I would much rather just sit down with the shaker because there's different vibes you can get. It can be very straight. It can have a little bit of a swing to it. You can emphasize the downbeat. You can emphasize the offbeat. You can emphasize the two or the four or the one or the three. Like there's so many things you can customize as you play it. And it'll help you get better at playing just rhythmic instruments in general. So I cannot speak highly enough about this loud, very loud thing called a shaker. That's it for this video. Link in the description to check this out and buy it from Sweetwater, my favorite place to buy gear. It is an affiliate link. I do get a little bit of a commission, but... That shouldn't change anything for you. Your price stays the same, and you get to work with a great company like Sweetwater, where I used to work for several years. Uh, I was actually working there when I wrote my first Home Studio Corner article and published my first Home Studio Corner video. That's kind of fun. Anyway, I've talked enough. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.